Hi guys, it's Andy again from Andrew Walsh Personal Training. Just doing a quick review on a pre-workout that I've heard good, very good things about. It's a Muscle Farms Assault. It's a quite big in UFC. There's a lot of uh, big names using it, so I thought I'd give it a go, review it, see what it's all about. It's got quite a few big ingredients in it. It's got all your beta alanines, your creatines, taurines, L-glutamine. So it's got some quite good ingredients. So I'll just go through some of them and show you what it's all about. So supplement facts there for you. If you can see it's a bit hard to see on this. Basically, I've been using this for a week. I've been having... I started off with half a scoop just to see what it was like. And I didn't really feel anything at all. So I wasn't getting no tingling. Nothing really. Didn't feel anything at all. It's just... So I'd up the dosage to one. And obviously followed the instructions on the, on the tub. Recommended use. So... 14 to 16 ounces of water, take 20 to 30 minutes before you train. 23 grams is half a scoop, so I was taking a full scoop. So I was wanting the benefit of it really to give me a bit of a kick with my training. So, to be fair, I didn't really feel anything from it. I was pretty disappointed. For the price, it's £25 for a tub. I'll just go through some of the ingredients in it. So we've got beta alanine. That's a pretty big hitter. It's uh, really good for, or meant to be good for in increasing your muscle strength and power. So really good for explosive workouts like weightlifting. Just to, just to give you that power, bit of a boost. Didn't really feel much from from this product to be fair. Uh, it has benefits in terms of aerobic and anaerobic endurance but not very good for running marathons for example it'd be good for like sprinting quite short bursts but again didn't really feel much from this product uh, better alanine again it has links to delaying fatigue in your muscles so not getting tired basically when you're training and the main, like, one of the side effects from beta alanine is the tingling sensation you get from it. Didn't really feel anything at all from this product. It's... No, didn't feel nothing at all, to be fair. I was expecting the tingling sensation, because it's got quite high beta alanine content per serving. So... Next one is another main one. It's creatine, monohydrate. It's the cheapest version of creatine. It is quite good creatine. It's good for again it's mainly an energy provider and it uh, buffers your muscles, gets the water into your muscles. Again it's good for explosive workouts, not very good for endurance work. You can get all this from a uh, all your amino acids from food, so you don't really need to take a supplement like this. But I just like to try things now and again just to see what they're all about. The next one, taurine. Another big hitter again. Again, it's found in the foods. You don't really need to get it from a supplement. Any red meats, protein basically, you can get all these amino acids in. Very good for digestion though, taurine. So good to keep your intestines healthy. Look, it has links to lowering your, your cholesterol levels as well. And it's uh, really good for muscle recovery. So if you are quite a high intensity workout, like weights training, it might, it, it might benefit you to try this product give it a go. I'm not saying don't try it, but for me, it didn't really work. Another big hitter in it, L-glycine. 
that's uh, mainly a a brain amino acid that one really good for the neurotransmitters the production of them and enzymes it's to help to help with uh, efficient brain function get all your signals flying around your body stops you from cramping up and uh, prevents the degeneration of your muscles basically breaking down of your muscles so that that's a really good one so it has got a lot of good amino acids in it it's quite a well blended product to be fair it's just disappointing that I didn't feel any anything from it uh, there's quite a few amino acids and other things in it I'm just picking some of the main ones out for you so you can you can't really see it on I'm recording it on an iPad so unfortunately you can't really see the breakdown of it L-glutamine again that's a, another big one that helps with protein synthesis stops the muscles breaking down catabolizing the self basically training too hard your muscles are going to go first so these are really good products to have to help prevent the breakdown of your muscles and again L-glutamine good for hydrating the muscles good for recovery good for your digestion and the overall general health of your intestines really so it has got some good ingredients in it but on this day on the the trial that I've done for it for the week it's just pretty disappointing really I've uh, spent 25 quid on this it's not a kilo it's just under a kilo and I uh, didn't really feel anything from it in terms of the taste of the product it's really nice it's uh tastes like sherbet so this is the I think it's the fruity one yeah what's that fruit punch one this one so the taste for it is top notch I give that 10 out of 10 every day it's really nice it can be a bit powder uh, sharp towards the end though so my tip is to either dilute it quite a bit or neck it as fast as you can because you'll it'll taste like you're drinking pure sherbet but in terms of buying it because you think it's going to help you I would you could try it but I wouldn't really bother with it to be fair it's not a it, it, like from my trial it didn't really affect me didn't give me any boost didn't give me no tingling didn't really help me at all I could have just had a strong coffee and saved 25 quid hope that helps you guys this is Andrew Walsh personal training doing a review on muscle farms assault thanks a lot guys if you have any questions or need any help with your training nutrition any advice visit my site andrewwalshpersonaltraining.co.uk or tweet me at andrewwalshpt thanks a lot enjoy your day guys